Welcome back to the third video of the Shopify Google Tag Manager course. And in today's video, we are learning how to create Google Ads account for our Shopify store. In previous videos, we have learned how to set up Google Analytics 4 using Google Tag Manager. And on first video, we learned how to install Google Tag Manager in a proper method, including checkout. So I'll put the link in the description for the previous two videos. For this video, let's set up our Google Ads store. Before proceeding to the tutorial, please do not forget to subscribe my channel, comment on the video below so I can create more valuable content for you guys. So let's jump into the code. So guys, this is our Shopify store for which we are creating Google Ads. And to create Google Ads account, we will simply search for Google AdWords. And from there, click on Google AdWords on the top. And assuming you already have Google account, so you don't need to create a new Google account. You can use one Google account for all the Google services, Google Ads, Google My Business, Google Tag Manager, etc., etc. So we'll just click Start now. So I already have multiple Google Ads account created already. So what I'm gonna do, I'll create on new Google Ads account. And here's the first screen where Google is asking some options about what you're looking to get. So we are looking to get more website sales or sign up. So I'll click on that option. Now click next. So it's already detecting some old businesses which I already have in my Google My Business account. So we will not use this info, we'll use the new info. Click next. And now we can type our name. You can type your business name for now. I'll just add Shopify Google Tag Manager course. Click next. And here we will need to add our website URL. So I'm just gonna copy the URL and paste it here. And it's showing the preview of our website. So currently it's password protected. So I'm just gonna leave it as it is. Click next. And for that, we will leave it as it is as we already have the Google Analytics account. We don't need to uh, create a new Google Analytics account. And uh, so I'll just check mark on that. I already, as I already have Google Ads, uh, Google Analytics account, and uh, improve your da, da 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 da. So it's asking to install the Google Search Console. I'll just click check mark, do this, continue with Google Ads. Okay, now here we can add all the headlines about the products and uh, all the details related to our product. So I'll just leave it as it is. You can uh, you can add the customized headlines and descriptions as per suitable for your products. So that's the preview of the ads of how the ads will look like. This is the website URL. These are the titles and headings and these are the descriptions. Now I'll just add a dummy number for now. You can add your own number here. Click next. And here now it's asking for the keywords which are relevant to our business. You will need to add the proper keywords which are suitable to your products. I'll just select for now because we are setting up as a, a development store. Click next. And here it's asking for the location where you, where you are looking to target uh, the visitors or the customers. So you can add uh, the location or zip code. I'll just select the region which is automatically selected. Click next. And here we have an option to set our custom budget and the duration of the campaign for how long it's gonna run. So just add the random budget. 
So that's in daily average budget. And it's also showing us how much clicks we'll be getting if we set up, if we set this budget for daily purpose and uh, it will run for 21 days from today. Okay, cool. Now click next. Cool, now we can review our campaign again. So it's a smart campaign which we are setting up. There are other methods to set up the uh, Google Ads campaign, but the smart campaign is the most fastest and quick, quickest way to set up your uh, Google Ads campaign. Okay, now click on next. And it's asking for the billing information. So I'll just hit submit as I have already added all the info for my old ad accounts. Okay, our campaign has been created. Now click on explore your campaign. Skip for now. Here we go. So that's the smart campaign which is showing up and currently it's inactive. We can uh, activate it after fixing the billing issue of our account. So I, I've added the dummy information just to show you guys how we can create a smart campaign for our Shopify stores. We can also create advanced level campaign by going to expert mode. So that's the button. You'll click on settings and switch to expert mode where you'll be able to create advanced level campaigns click on switch to expert mode. Let's see how it looks. Guys, that's how the expert mode looks like. As you can see, we have uh, clicks, impressions, and we can select all campaigns from here to see all the campaigns. Currently, we only only have one campaign, so it's just showing the one campaign for one dashboard. If we, if we create multiple campaigns, there will be more campaigns showing up on that. Uh, okay, so that was the easiest and simplest way to create Google Ads account for our Shopify store. There's another method to create Google Ads account, which is through the Shopify backend. So if you go to the Shopify backend and uh, click on marketing, and here you will have an option to add an app by the name of Google Setup App. Click on Setup App. Now it's asking you for permission. Uh, this app is asking permission to add it, uh, the store orders update and click on update sales channel. And here we have a new tab showing up, which is also another method to uh, set up a Google ads account for our Shopify store. So that's is a much authenticate and, and much advanced level way to set up a Google Ads account where we'll be connecting our Google Ads account and Shopify will automatically create our merchant account. So that's a little advanced level tutorial which I'll be discussing on another video. For now, let's skip that one. We can create smart campaign as, uh, it, as, as a quick option. And in the next video, we'll be discussing how to set up conversion for the campaign which we created so we can uh, count our conversion that how many how many visitors actually bought our products and what was the average CPC, et cetera, et cetera. I'll also share the use case scenarios where I have created campaigns for my clients and what was the result of the campaigns. So if you wanna learn, watch the next video and till then, have a great day.